All right, all right. So here we go. We're gonna start coding. And um, I went forward and created two uh, two new classes. <clears throat> One is called Strategy Optimizer, and it's I created it in the Strategies folder right here. And uh, and another one in the example folder, I created try strategy optimizer. So this is how this uh, this is going to be structured. We will create uh, most of our logic uh, under under bot, and um, under examples, we'll show how that logic uh, works. <clears throat> now. Now. Uh, all right. So, as mentioned uh, earlier, um, there are a few things that we need to to define um, from the get go. Uh, number one is uh, what's our fitness function. So we need to define that. Number two, how many generations are we going to run the algorithm for? Three, what's the generation size? How many individuals per generation per population? Number four, uh, this has to do with what constitutes an individual. How many genes are, are uh, how many genes is an individual gonna have? And genes basically means um, let's 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 work with an example. So say we have a strategy. Say we have this strategy actually. The strategy combining uh, Bollinger Bands and uh, and RSI, right? And we want to figure out what are the best parameters to choose for this strategy. What's the best RSI length? What's the best Bollinger Bands length? And what are the best uh, overbought and oversold levels for RSI? So these four parameters, uh, we can either you know pick and choose, trial and error, whatnot. Or we can use um, a genetic algorithm to find the best ones, and this is what we're gonna do. <clears throat> so, um, the number of genes that we have is gonna be dependent on the number of features that we want to um, uh, optimize. And so far, we've seen four. Um, so anyway, let's actually start writing this down. So we want. We want our fitness function. Um, we want our um, number of generations. We want our generation generation size. We want our uh, number of genes. How many genes per individual? <clears throat> and then we want the gene ranges. So each gene will 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 um, will be valid within a range. Let's say for the RSI length, uh, we don't want uh, um, a length of over a hundred. Let's say, and we don't want anything under three. So the gene length for, for that particular gene which describes the RSI will be, uh, the gene range rather, sorry, will be a three and a hundred. And we'll have, so gene ranges is gonna be a list uh, of length uh, and genes, and that list is gonna be a list of tuples. <clears throat> then, The mutation probability. How likely a new individual is to be mutated, and then the gene mutation individual uh, gene mutation probability. Once we've selected an individual to be mutated, how likely is each of his genes or her genes to be mutated? And uh, the last one is uh, the number of, uh, of uh, individuals that we select to carry over to the next uh, generation. 
the number of best individuals, the top, how many of the top individuals will we select? So yeah, there you go. These are these are our parameters, and we're gonna write all of this as a class. Okay, cool. 